Tonight, we are so excited to introduce our first guest. He's been on our show before, and he's here again to lend his expertise. Please welcome celebrity vocal coach, James Luo. Yeah. Yes. What's happening? I'm here with vocal coach James Lugo. Now, give us your general uh, perception of last night. Overall. We are here with celebrity vocal coach James Lugo. Yeah. So I'm here with James Lugo of Vocal Asylum. Now, James, tell us about Vocal Asylum. It's for singers getting in and they can't get out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, James Lugo here. Just want to welcome you to our new video series presented by Superior Vocal Health. And I'm telling you, I use the products, my clients use the products, and that's why I wanted to partner up with them because I truly believe in them. And uh, yeah, go to their website, superiorvocalhealth.com, and uh, use promo code LUGO, LUGO, and get 10% discount. Here we go, baby. All right, so I want to welcome everybody here. We've got, ladies and gentlemen, drum roll. Brrr. I would shatter Crystal, except that's Jamie's uh, deal. <laughs> we got Jamie Vendera here with us. Yay! Say hey, Jamie. Hey, 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 hey. So, so hey. He, he he's he's starting to feel under the weather, and he's about to do something. I said, "Don't do anything. Don't talk about it, because this is what we're talking about today." And I we didn't talk about what we we're going to talk about because I just wanted you to. To, 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 no, that's we're, dude, we're, cool we're, we're, we're riffing. We're in we're in A minor. Um, so so uh, a little a little a little precursor to why I wanted Jamie on this one was well one was because he's super cool and, uh, and he's my publisher and also uh, which led up to this whole weight loss thing. I I uh, I got a little over two years ago. I got pneumonia and I spent three months in bed and I was coughing and couldn't get over it and. I was almost 300 pounds, and I was just a disaster on across the board. And uh, when I finally started to kind of regain my health and uh, get healthier, I realized I had no falsetto. And I thought, well, you know, I mean, I just coughed for three months. It's going to take a while, and months had gone by, and it wasn't getting better. And then I started getting scared. I'm like, did I destroy this? So I started going to different ENTs and getting scoped and my hair's in my face. And everybody's saying, yeah, your voice is fine. There's nothing wrong. I'm like, well, there's something wrong because I can't go, you. Yeah! You know what I mean? If you can't go, yep. you yeah! and you're a voice coach, it's... But uh, anyway, pretty much once I'd given up all hope on voice, on, on the doctors and everything, I was like, the first person I called was you, and I'm like, Jamie, I'm 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 dep I'm ready to kill myself. And you gave me some tricks, and you turned me on to Superior Vocal Health. They were kind of presenting this, and uh, you were a part of my healing. So this is what we're going to talk about today. We'll just do like well, 15, 15, 20 minutes. Let's talk about healing the voice, singing when you got a cold, singing when you're hoarse, how to prevent getting sick, taking care of your voice. You know, singing when you, you you know, when you got a show and you got allergies, the whole kit and caboodle. So, ladies no, and gentlemen, Jamie Vendera. Good, good, good topic, actually. Um, I'll come clean. A lot of my students already know this, but it's going on three years, James, that, and I don't even know if I really told you this, a little bit. But I was in Tokyo doing a TV show. Oh, you got the shard of glass in your throat. Yeah, I got the shard of glass in my throat. And like you... Even though it wasn't pneumonia, I'm going to ENTs around here, and my mine had retired, and uh, one ENT is like, there's nothing there. Well, with glass, even in MRI, they can't find it. And I, I'm like freaking out because I remember when it happened, I felt it on set, something stung my throat, went back to hotel room, there was blood in the back of my throat, and I thought, okay, I cut myself, I'm all right. Well, I got, I got really sick on the flight home. But knock on wood, I, I remember this because uh, I, I think I was talking to David Katz. Uh, during that show, because I would maybe it was China, but David Superior Vocal Health, we actually published his book too, and I was telling him about it, and he's like, "Well, do these herbs and that," and so I was on some of his stuff and doing my emergency, and nothing was healing me up. Then I got a knot in my throat, so I'm freaking out, thinking, "Oh my God, I've got cancer, I've got nodules, nothing. Cords are in great shape." Uh, one doctor tried to say it's your tonsils. Well, I've had my tonsils removed since I was like three years old. They kind of grew back. That can happen. Just half. But um, nothing. And what, what had happened for me, 
I mean, we'll get in all the cold stuff, but just to kind of sum that up, because it actually plays into a lot of this, what's helping me now. I, I found this company called Dr. Vokes and uh, found out uh, the creator of this. This, it's is, like a this, isn't, therapy this device. isn't a this isn't a it, drug show. <laughs> it's not a yeah, it's not a bomb. Uh, and I told him that, and he's like, that doesn't look like that, you know, really pristine oh, doctor. Yeah, right. And so he sent it to me. I'm like, look, I carry enough glass with me on these TV right. shows. I can't carry this with me on the plane. So I said, why don't you create something uh, like a stick in a pocket, call it pocket books, and they they literally did. So he he actually flew to meet me. Uh, I gave him this idea. He put it out. It blew up. He was so thankful he came to Poland to meet me back in October. And he examined because he's a surgeon. He's an ENT. And lo and behold, the one fear every singer has, I got nerve damage. It actually it actually cut the nerve bundle. And, uh, you know, if you affect the laryngeal nerve, it can throw you off. So I'm thinking, do I have acid reflux? Do I have candida? And none of this was helping. And I'm, I'm on all the herbal stuff. And I'm the guy who – you know, working with like James Labrie or my like star set, Dustin Bates, it's like, here's what you do to keep your voice healthy on the road. But it wasn't working for me. You know, and on top of that, I had broken my ankle like, you know, a year prior in Poland. So now I can't do cardio. Uh, my voice isn't getting back and I'm putting out songs. I'm doing more TV shows. I'm not stopping. I just keep going. But when I got this device and I started uh, doing, if you've heard of like the lax folks, like the yeah, yeah, yeah. just doing the basic slides. I'm telling you, for me, uh, that's what hasn't healed, and I still got the nerve damage and we're working on that, but that is what helps me to center my voice when it goes out, because when you have nerve damage, it could go husky, it could go clean, right, husky, clean. Right. That so was one of the things you got me into when 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 I called you, like, whatever, two years ago, and I was... Straw. I got yeah. the straw, and I did the straw with the water, too. Is it, yes, the, is it, that, the, is it the back pressure... Or, or is it is it the vibration? What is it? Well, it, well it's both. With, with the with the back, it's funny. I just had a, a session with Doctor Dennis Oblu today. He called me and he has me doing some other things like, ooh, like leaning back to stretch out the cracked thyroid muscles and all that. But um, I'm not I'm not the science guy. I'm not in the, the talking about the muscles. But what what it is? It, it is the back pressure. All of a sudden, you 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 put a cap on the breath. You can't let as much breath out. And so for me, when I break it down in layman's terms, it's like okay. You vocalize in the water, it bubbles, sound therapy, it travels back up and meets your chords. Well, for me, I, I think of like, well, when you have two singers that are singing simultaneously and they're blending really well, beautiful sound. That's why we double voice. You know, you're, you're an engineer. You, you know all about this. So if you have your perfect sound coming back down and hitting the chords and you're already making that tone, <clears throat> it's just going to make it easier for those chords to vibrate. It takes some of the pressure off. So that back pressure does kind of balance the chords. And it alleviates uh, the stress on the cord. It starts reducing inflammation. And this doctor, the one thing I love about Dr. Dennis Oglu and using this is he is a surgeon. But he is like like the, the show Kung Fu. He wants to learn Kung Fu, but not so he don't, not so he don't beat your butt up, but so that he don't have to fight you. He don't want to do surgery on you. He wants to reverse the nodules, fix the bowed cords, and then show you how to properly do it. So – just doing this. Well, dude, Tony Harnell is a good friend of mine. I got him hooked on this. He said he loves it. He's using it on tour. So is that, is that just the cap and then you put it on whatever bottle? Yeah, I you just put it on a bottle, a water bottle. I fill it about halfway full. But you, you kind of – there's little lines. Let me see if I can grab. I got another one around here. Oh, yeah. I like to use a glass bottle. And uh, you have these lines. and You can actually figure out like how much water you need because you talked about the vibration – well, if you have just a little water, you might not feel much vibration. If you have a lot of water, it might dampen it. It might feel like kind of strained, but you find that magic spot. And then when you're going up, you know, you can feel it. It's like a vocal cord massage, man. It's like having a, uh, a little uh, massager right on your throats. And it's just like, you know, these, these little arms just <laughs> working your cords loose. So, you know, I do a lot of that. And um, so, so like if you woke up and you were under the weather or whatever or you felt phlegmy or you felt yeah, static. Well, I, if, you, if you feel phlegmy, uh, and I'm sure you've done a lot of this, especially well, you know, when I started gaining some weight, I, I couldn't breathe a lot. I don't know if that's how it affected you, and I thought, oh, my God. So I started making sure to do breathing exercises. I was more phlegmy, so I had to up my water intake because I weighed more, uh, made sure I used my humidifier at night. Because that's what's going to reduce that phlegm. You know, when I actually get this, it's called Hydrate, and you can actually go, it has like hourly marks. So I know for a fact I drink at least a gallon a day with this, 
Plus, I drink like 32 ounces at the gym. Uh, sometimes I'll, I'll sip hot water, to re- which that's great too. I'll sip hot water to reduce vocal cord inflammation. And Harnell is actually the one that turned me on to that. He said uh, all the studies, it's like it helps inflammation in the body. You know, and I have a skin disease. He said, that'd be great for you. Well, I found out that it makes my voice feel amazing. So I have, a, I don't have my thermos down here, but I got the biggest thermos you've ever seen. I mean, it's huge. And I'll, I will sip hot water all day long. And you've heard people say, but that'll burn your vocal cords. No, it, it literally does the opposite. I mean, it really does help to reduce that inflammation and keep things in check. So, you know, for me, it's drinking a lot of water, uh, like the emergency. I'm always eating emergency pocket votes, just just little things like that. I know we're going in a million different directions, that's right. but that's I love right. to talk. Well, you're, 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 <laughs> you're, you're, you're vo- your speaking voice sounds really nice, which is nice. Okay. Well, you, so- know, you know what's funny? Though it could, it could be like this in 10 minutes from now, and it's it's that nerve thing, but we're, we're healing it, you know? Yeah. Uh, and that's the weird thing, because do, he does shiatsu on my voice, so he'll stick his finger down my throat and touch the spot where there's a knot. And holy cow. Oh my. Now, uh, it, now is, the, is, is, the is, gla- is the glass still in your throat? No. No. He he, uh, he palpitated it. And plus, uh, Dr. Dennis Oglu said, as long as it's been, there's no way. The body either rejects it or it'll form a kernel around it and harden and actually dissolve. It can actually dissolve crystal right, glass, right, right. whatever, over a period of time. And he says there's no way. But he could feel where exactly it was. And, uh, you know, and that's exactly what it is. So. You know, but all right, glass happens. All right, so you ready? <laughs> Here's your, your singer. Their big show is tonight. They get up, and their voice is shot. They've been maybe sick, or they've been over singing, or allergies. Like, what's like the Jamie Vendera like procedure throughout the morning? Because I know what I do, and I, I can go over a little bit of what I do, but I'm, I'm curious more what you do. Well, of, of course, we kind of, since I'm jumping around, we kind of talk about that. I, Whenever I do a show, and I've actually done TV shows where I've been deathly sick, 102 degree temperature, and can barely talk. And before the pocket vokes or a straw, I do hundreds of lip bubbles, you know, all day long. Slamming the water, uh, I have a little portable steamer, like a hot steamer, if I want to show, to breathe in the hot steam. Or if I'm, uh, if I'm on the road and I'm in a hotel room, I'll get in the shower and I'll turn it on and I'll vocalize in there and just breathe steam for like an hour. I know all these hotels hate my guts because, <laughs> because I steam up everything. But the one thing that helps me, and uh, I don't want to feel like I'm name dropping. I do sound stupid when I say these names, but Miles Kennedy from Alter Bridge, he, he called me. When Blackbird was out, he's really sick on the road. He's like, man, what what can I do? And I got this gargle. It was actually given to me sort of this formula by a, an old teacher. I can't even remember his name. He was just a friend of mine, and he sang in a college choir. And what it is is I'll take like four to eight ounces of warm water. I put in about a tablespoon of organic apple cider vinegar, like Bragg's. I'll take about a half a teaspoon of uh, – try to do like – organic salt or something in case people are allergic to the um, iodine, uh, some lemon juice, about a quarter teaspoon of lemon juice, and I'll either use like two capsules of actual cayenne or some kind of like a cayenne sauce and do about a, a quarter to a half a teaspoon of that. And the apple cider vinegar, if you are sick, will help to start, uh, you know, repairing everything, not really repairing it, but getting rid of the infection. The salt will help to clean up things and kind of loosen that phlegm. The lemon juice will help you to salivate, and of course, the uh, the cayenne pepper helps to expand the capillaries so you have more blood flow. And Miles is like, okay, <laughs> so he did this, and I, I knew he was doing it because you know uh, Mark would be playing a solo, and Miles running side the stage. He come back out with like the Joe Walsh face. I mean, just you know, because this stuff is nasty. So you gargle it. You it's spit like it, out. Ma- it sounds like the master cleanse, <laughs> dude. It is. I'm telling you. But this stuff will put your voice into a situation where it right, feels so run, amazing. Run through, the, run through the ingredients really quick again. Yes, uh, eight ounces of warm water, uh, a tablespoon of organic apple cider vinegar, like Bragg's, half a teaspoon of salt. A quarter teaspoon of lemon juice and a quarter to half a teaspoon of like a cayenne liquid or a couple capsules of cayenne pepper uh, in there. Shake it up, mix it. You don't drink it. You just gargle it. It kind of reminds me of, um, oh, I can't believe David Katz is going to kill me. Vocal Rescue. I'm telling you what. I don't know if you've used that. It's not. Vocal Rescue. Love that stuff. I used it in China when I didn't have my um, this mix. 
<laughs> James, one of the best TV shows I've ever done. Uh, well, that that's that's throat yeah, Sarah, yeah. That's no, great. I was just looking. Yeah, here's yeah. the sign. I get the, the rescue. I've got the rescue oh, the, the gargle too. Yeah. Oh well, here's my vocal rescue right here. The, yeah, the gargle is just phenomenal. So I yeah. used it. Well, even I teach a lot of scream workshops, and I'm using proper technique. You know, hey, when you're doing all the screaming, you're not blowing out your cords. But just in case, I always gargle with this. I take it with me on the road and gargle because who wants to pack around apple cider vinegar and lemon juice? But it is there. If you guys need it, you can use that. Or you can go to superiorvocalhealth.com and you can grab Vocal Rescue. Love all their stuff. The throat, the throat save or the the um, the spray. Woo! I mean, that stuff is like it's tight. I yeah. mean, you, you spray some out in your mouth and you were like, you're woke up. It's <laughs> it's crazy. But yeah, it's mainly for me. It's water, hydration, steaming, um, blah, 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 a lot of vocalization. It's a lot in your mind too. You know, when I, w I was doing a, the show for Japan, one of the shows for Japan, I was so sick I could barely talk. And I kid you not, it literally took me about an hour to shatter a wine glass. I was so sick. Uh, people were there were like freaking out like this guy's he's he's completely ruining this voice but i got it done and a couple days later my voice is fine no damage but from doing techniques and visualizing it happening i knew i would get through it because i'm just not a defeatist man i'm going to be i'm going to get anything done that i put my mind to so it's it's your state of mind it's hydration uh if you are getting sick i don't usually use the lozenges and not for trying to promote everything but emergency man i, I will take like two packets of emergency and a bottle of water. And if I feel like, if you're on the road and you're feeling like, oh my gosh, my throat's getting real bad, I'm feeling that tickle, I would do two packets and a bottle of water every flipping hour until you feel better. You gotta catch it as soon as it happens though. It happened to me Sunday night, like I told you, starting to feel like I could taste that pneumonia, but I didn't get out of bed. And I didn't have any emergency, I ran out. You and also, by the next, go ahead. When, I, when I was sick, I remember you had me going, you, you turned me on to the zinc lozenges. Lozenges, yeah, but you should do that all the time. I mean, as a yeah. singer. Maybe, like, I, I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't, my voice is usually always kind of the same. I'm pretty lucky with that unless I get sick. A thing that I've been really doing that I got turned on to through having, having hurt my voice through having pneumonia was really working my falsetto. I oh, think yeah. that's really, you know, there's a therapeutic value to to working working that thing. And uh, I don't know, I just, I mean, now it's, what's really funny is that I my, my teaching has, I don't know if I'd say evolved or devolved or just changed over the last, like, six months or a year. Um, and it's a lot more head voice. I think because I, I used to have a very kind of, brutalistic view of singing it was kind of like yeah you know always pushing and and now i've gotten where i warm up more slowly and more with the head voice but i notice when um if i'm feeling sick that the head voice working the head voice um i do that yeah siren -y absolutely things and yeah and, and because it's taking less pressure off the courts and on you know a lot of my coaches like my coach, like Liz Sabine and Jim Gillette, they weren't really big into falsetto. Amazing teachers, but they were more all full voice. And I have, since I love Prince and everything, I involved a lot of falsetto work into warming up. And I have the falsetto slides that we do in my training. And that's how Dr. Denizoglu has me doing just the, ooh, just this really light thing where I'm just, I'm like touching this to make sure there's no tension here. And you tilt your head back. Uh, to kind of stretch those muscles, and you bring it all the way down and let it you know, drop you, down in your chest. Have you your ever voice. heard of the vocal coach Peter Strobel? He's like I've Eddie heard Van of the Halen's. Name. Like he he was Wolfgang's uh, vocal coach in the Van Halen camp. He's some dude in L.A. I, I never really heard of him, but I had a dude come out here to sing on sing his record from Norway, and he was one of my students. And he said, "Oh, that this dude turned him on to this Peter Strobel little like." 15 minute warm up track and that he, he said that he had liked it and wanted me to see what I thought of it. And when I popped it on, it was all this falsetto and it was all like, like whole step, half step, third slides, like hoo, hoo, all that stuff. And it was all this, like not only head voice, but like bringing the head voice really low, going into where you would normally be more chest voice, doing it with head voice. And that well, was like the yeah, whole. That's what people don't understand. You, you can go down, down low, but yeah. no, that's that. 
But it was the whole thing. And, and what was weird was that my voice teaching was kind of starting to transition when this dude came out. This was maybe about four or five months ago. And uh, I, I, I snagged the track, so I practiced with it sometimes. Hey, um, dude, have you heard yeah, – you remember the band Hardline? Neil Sean was yeah, uh, yeah, in yeah. the band. Johnny Gioelli. Johnny Gioelli had out like in 92 or 93. It's called Vocal Endurance. It was on a VHS. That's exactly what he was doing. Everything was like a falsetto. Like, and um, I loved it. I mean, it, it made your voice feel so yeah. light and airy. It, it does. It helps to reduce inflammation and it takes the weight off of your voice. So when you do go to full voice, it, it doesn't feel so heavy. It's not so hard to get to. But that, that again, that's why I use this too because I never go. I never go full. I know just really light is all I do. I don't really push it. So, you know, you have a little more gap uh, in the glottis and just let the edges kind of touch. So, no, I like to check that out. But, man, you got to find vocal endurance. If you like the Peter Strobel stuff, I'm telling you, you'll dig the Johnny Gioelli. I wish he would put it out in some form. Yeah, I would put it yeah. out. Johnny, if you're watching this, I want vocal <laughs> endurance out because that program is amazing. It was an amazing video. Nice, nice. Well, it's, yeah, it's so good to talk to you. Well, I mean, I guess so. I mean, a lot of that stuff's kind of what I, I mean, for me, I like when if I get up and I got a show or I got something going on vocally and I'm sick or feeling weird, I usually start first things first with like a long, hot shower. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. That's why I said they hate me in the hotel room. I like to, I like to touch my toes and I, I like to neti bottle too. I yep, blow the neti the bottle, neti. blow it out, blow it out. And then I've been using this, the, the new, uh, it's called Sinus Clint. Complete cleanse. It's the new, uh, their new nasal. Yeah, and, and man, it to me. It, this, holy cow! It, it, it's I, really good stuff. And I mean, I, and you know, I tell people like, you know, because I, I, I don't want to be like one of those people. It's like pushing some pro that pushing products is not my thing. Trust me, yeah. it's totally not my thing. But I really do believe in this, and and that's how I got in touch with them was through you. Yep. Because you're like, hey, you got to contact David, David, and talk to him, and he's a good dude, and he'll help you out, and which they did. Um, well, but. the sign is clear that yeah, he he sent it to me, and if I start sneezing, James, that's the one thing that will screw my voice up because I'm like like a demon. I'm like shoo, and it won't yeah. stop because my allergies. I mean, I'll sneeze like 50 times in a row, and then I'm hoarse. But I he sent me that, and I start I was I started a sneezing fit, squirted it up my nose. Bam! <laughs> it stopped my sneezing fit. I was like, finally, something to help me because I'm like, I'm like toast yeah. if, if I do that. So, yeah, great. And again, like you said, I know we're not pushing products, but I'm not pushing pocketbooks or anything, but these are just good products the singers need to have. Yeah. But, you know, bottom line, if they don't have technique, you know, if you're not focusing on your breathing, your support, your placement, you're not doing these vocal exercises – Pocket vocals isn't going to save you. Uh, superior vocal health isn't going to save you. These are tools to help the singer as long as they're establishing a, a good base for singing. Yeah. So that's why they come to you. That's why you know I, I teach voice. That's that's what it's about. Yeah. All right, man. Well, I think I mean that's this is it, man. So uh, this video will be out this week, and I'll send you a link. And I, where can people get you, JamieVendera.com or JamieVendera.com? Let me add one. How thing do you really how quick. do you spell Jamie? J A M I E. Uh, Jaime. J A I M E. J A I M E. Vendera. Okay. Yeah, but one thing really quick. I know we talked a lot, but it, with the emergency, if they want another tip, when I get sick and you're doing the emergency, do one to two packets an hour every hour until it starts to subside. If you got a gig that night, it can give you the runs. <laughs> so be careful. But I guarantee you, it will help you to feel. It's well, personally, it's helped me to feel better. Yeah. You know, if I catch it and I use a lot of emergency, uh, it'll beat it. But I'm sure that's what this video is about: giving tips uh, to singers and keeping them on the road. Yeah, so like, that's, you know, that's the main people thing. can experiment and find their, you know, what works for them and their tolerance for all this stuff. And you know, your mile, mileage may vary. Absolutely, it's. I mean, we're human instruments, so. You know, uh, emergency might not work for one person. You know, it's dependent on the body. Yeah. There's another one. What's it, the other one that people use? There's another one of those emergency kind of things. It's like a zinc thing. I don't know. It's, a, you know, yeah. Uh, there's a lot. We, we could probably have some about the stuff that don't work. <laughs> I, I got one down here I'm looking at. I won't show it. Someone said, yeah, you got to try this throat. Product. Hey, what I'm about like, what about shots of brandy? That's like with the old that's the old that's the old Sinatra thing, man. 
Yeah, man, Dude, a Marlboro and, a, and some brandy, <laughs> man. I remember, um, like, when I was playing in bars when I was 16, and at the end of the night, I was so thirsty. There was a glass of water there. It was only about this big. I told my guitar player, they're all older than me. I said, man, can I have it? I'm dying of thirsty. He said, yeah. Peppermint schnapps. Oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah. But he's like, yeah, that'll get your pipes clean, and you can use them for singing. So that was my warm-up. For like a year, I figured out. Wait a minute! I only think I sound better. I, I'm just a little, you know, inebriated. So, uh, well, <laughs> yeah, don't really work for me. <laughs> all right. Hey, I thought you were wearing a tuxedo to this, Jamie. I mean, what's the, uh, you got your well, Rolling Stones shirt I have, on? I have my blue tuxedo. <laughs> I meant to say that when we were opening up. I forgot to put on my tuxedo, uh, but um, I'll wear it next time. <laughs> all right. I, lo I love that. I have the exact same packing blanket. It's actually right behind me here. Look. Oh, yeah. Let me see. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's dude, exactly you know what? the same packing blanket. No, I found those on eBay, and they were like six for like 40 bucks or yeah, something. Yeah, that's cheap because they're like 18 and, bucks a pop. Really? No, yeah, look they, on eBay. And these yeah, are the they, heavy. Yeah, they're they're, sound those are the thick, blankets. heavy ones. Yeah, and I got like probably a dozen around here. But like over – I'm, I'm remodeling, so everything's messed up. But over here, I got my corner. I got a couple of uh, you know, panels, and I record over there. I got my nice. mic set up, and that's and where that's where you're I, in Ohio or something, right? I'm in Ohio, but I'm all over the place. I teach in Columbus. Uh, of course, I run the school online, Vendera Vocal Academy. Uh, I'm getting out and doing more workshops. So oh, yeah, but I'm, I'm I'm from Franklin Furnace, Ohio, down by Kentucky. <laughs> uh, so, wait a minute, but you're in Nashville. Oh so. <laughs> man, you really sound right. <laughs> well, that's how I really sound, but I fight really hard not to sound that way. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, well, listen, say goodbye to everybody, and we'll see uh, you guys cool. all later on. Love you, James. Love uh, you, love too, you James. singers. Keep screaming. You will never see.